Hi, welcome to DevLogs. In this video, we will learn how to deploy Solidity Smart Contract on blockchain using Web3.js. If you are new on the channel, my name is Himmat. Here we learn all the fundamental concepts and practical development of blockchain technologies. So if this is something helpful to you, then press the like button and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. So first we need to install the Solidity compiler. So for that, npm install hyphen g g is for global and solid so this will install the solidity compiler so this got installed you can verify the compiler version using solid c js hyphen hyphen version so and so enter that so this is the compiler version 0.8.15 so now just go to the Visual Studio. So these are the libraries. Here we are going to use the Web3. So we have added the Web3 over here. So you can write npm install. So this will install all the dependencies. So meantime, you can create a file and deploy.js. So for the deployment, Will write the code over here write another create another folder that is contract so we need the contract to deploy so in the contracts you can create a file that is dot solidity that is storage dot sol sol and in the last video we have already covered some by default smart contract so these are the by default smart contract So you can copy this storage from here. So this is one small contract. You can paste as it is. So this is the storage dot SOL. Okay. And deploy. Okay. This is fine. Now we need the ABA and the bytecode for the deployment. Either you can copy from here ABA and bytecode from the Remix IDE. Or let's see how we can generate the generate those using the command line. So for that, create a folder build. In this build folder, we will generate the ABA and the bytecode. Okay, models dot successfully installed. So go to the folder that is solidity web three dot deploy. Then write a command. So once you go to the contract, because our contract is in the contract folder, so write a command solidc js. Then we need the bytecode. So for that, hyphen hyphen bin, and then the so contract file name storage dot sol. And we need the output in the build. So hyphen o then build. So this will generate the bytecode in the build folder. So bytecode for the solid storage. So if you see there, this this is the bytecode object. So this is successfully generated. Then next we need the ABA. So for that, write a command solidcjs. Then hyphen o build hyphen hyphen ABI and then the file name that is the smart contract file name. So once you enter, this will generate the API file. In the build folder, okay. So this is successfully generated. You can just check this. This is the API file in the JSON format. So now go to the deploy. So we need to read those files API and bin. So just write constant fs equal to require fs that is file system so using fs we will read the file so first we will read the abi so constant abi equal to fs dot read files in sync file sync okay then here you need we need to here we need to pass the path for that file there 
is a way we can copy the path just right click and then copy relative path okay and just paste it paste it okay uh, you can write the this is the API that just and you can print the let's print and see API okay so let's print the convert to the dot to string and print it okay then that is the JSON format so node deploy dot JS oops there is an error uh, no such file or directory okay contract will so yeah it takes as it is so the path is not proper let's change the single quote let's this should be the backward slash not the forward slash okay just save this file and run it note reply see this is the ABI file and this is in JSON so we need to convert that to the JSON format so instead of two string we, that should be in JSON so just remove this two string then here write JSON dot pass so this will convert to the JSON format okay save this file and run one more time so yeah, this is the json format okay this file we need then we need the bytecode so write constant bytecode let's remove this console bytecode equal to fs dot read files in then provide the that bin file path just copy this right click copy relative path and paste it here and change the slash this backwards, this will be backwards. so this will give us the bytecode and this is in this is the bytecode object for the so we need to convert that to the two string so okay that's fine now we have the ABA and the bytecode so this is required to deploy the contract so let's create the web3 connection constant web3 so first we need to import that constant web3 equal to required web3 okay. so here we need to connect to the blockchain so this is the read ABI and the bytecode from file and this is creating web3 connection okay so new web3 in bracket new web3 dot providers dot http provider provider then pass the http url so we will will going to use the ganache let's restart the ganache so here you can use uh, ganache or you can use the test net or the main net depending on that you need to provide the this http url for main net or test net you can get the http rpc url from the info.io and for ganache you can find it in the ganache This is the RPC server, so you can copy this URL and paste it here. So this will connect the, our this application or this JS file to the Ganache blockchain. So 
so let's write a function async function deploy so this function is to deploy the smart contract and call this function deploy from here okay okay now this is the deployment function okay now we need to create a contract so constant contract equal to new web3 dot eth dot contract should be capital okay then here we need to we need to pass the ebi ebi just try and print this contract console.log contract okay save this file and write node in deploy.js this should be small w so we have three so yeah now this should work see this is the contract you can go through it if you want then we need to deploy it so let's change this scope just let contract because we are using the same variable again contract dot deploy and here we need to pass the byte code as a data so data and then byte code and this contract equal to so for the same variable we are assigning this deploy contract setup contract okay that's fine now we need to send this deploy transition to the blockchain so this is to create the contract and this is the deploy contract or set the contract no. constant deploy contract here we are sending the deploy transaction to the blockchain this is the set deploy contract okay and deploy contract this is the actual contract deployment so deploy contract from the send transaction pass the two parameters one is from from address that is the from vault address from, this is the, from vault address and you can use any of this so let's copy this first address and paste it here okay and then the gas gas fields for the gas fields so you can go here and this is the gas field copy that and paste it here okay and just print the deployed contract old address so as soon as we deploy the contract blockchain will deploy the contract and provide us a contract address it will generate a contract address and we can get the contract address so contract address is created using the 
from address this from address from vault address and the nouns of the from address so here deploy contract then option and the address this will provide the deploy contract address if you want to more details just print the deploy contract you will get all the deploy contract details so let's note deploy.js see the contract got successfully deployed and this is the deployed address Just go to the Ganesh, check the transaction. This is the contract creation transaction, and this is the deployed contract address. You can verify. You can go to the block and check. There is one block added with the contract creation transaction, and this is the one transaction for the first address. Now just copy the deployed address and go to the remix id so if you go to the deploy and run there is and this connect first connect to the ganesh provider and there is one option you can pick, you can enter the address and click on add address so you will find here all the functions from that contract so we have the store and return let's try and store some value store so 10 you can find the transaction here this is second block added and this is the transaction so we have connected this remix id to the ganache and from there we are accessing the contract so similarly you can also write your front-end application to access any of your smart contract we have covered that is web3.js and ether.js how we can connect to the smart contract and run the functions So this is how you can deploy your smart contract using web3.js and for the mainnet and testnet you just need to change the http provider url in the next video we'll see how we can deploy the smart contract using the ethers.js thank you for watching the video please like and subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video